Hey YouTubers, I thought I'd make a uh, mini Thunderbolt progress video uh, and show what I've gotten done in the past few weeks. So I got the blower, which is a 120 millimeter scroll cage computer blower for like a server rack or something. And then I got the rotator motor, which is, uh, I believe it's a 5,000 to one gear ratio, which ends up being like two or three RPM on that shaft right there, which is perfect for a uh, Thunderbolt. And um, I also got a motor speed controller for the chopper, so it's not screaming at 12 volts or me only able to use nine, so now I can switch between them, even though I have uh, infinitely variable speed right here. Um, update to what I've gotten done so far is uh, I 3D printed the chopper motor housing and it's slightly too long. The finished one will probably be about there but this was just for mock-up to make sure that the blower does amplify the sound and it does. You'll see that later in the video. Um, another thing I worked on was the uh, chopper cap and unfortunately my 3D printer doesn't like uh, using support material so it leaves them spaghetti mess all over the place um, hopefully I can figure out a way to make that look better or I'll just sand it down and fix it because there is a slight taper to it not sure if you can see that right there yeah you can see it it's a mess but uh, that will be finalized uh, I did make that piece out of metal but due the to the uh, chucking capabilities of the lathe it was only able to hang on to it like that and then I couldn't cut any farther than that without running into the chuck while I was spinning and that could damage stuff so um, this part was just to see if I can make it I did make it but as you can see that's a little bit too thick compared to the real one and since this is already too big because the real ones would be like that um, if I made it any thicker it just look weird so I left it like it is uh, another 3d printed part or parts I should say I made was the blower blocker plate that uh, restricts the airflow to only come out of this hole instead of this hole right here which would be the entire thing I also noticed whenever I blocked it off I get more pressure out of here which is um, great because that amplifies the sound a lot another 3d printed part is this uh, blower pipe right here I can take it out it's a little tight. I had to use a Dremel to get it to fit properly because my printer is not the most accurate thing in the world. But it works for what I'm doing. Anyway, I'll go ahead and put this all back together and show you what it sounds like now. Uh, hang on, I'll go put my phone down so I can put this back together. Sorry for the black view of my carpet. Anyway. So I'll go ahead and spool up the blower and then I'll, um, I'll cover up the intake so you can hear the difference as well as take it off because even though I have the intake covered up, it still is blowing a little bit into there. So I'll let you hear the difference. Anyway, I'll go ahead and plug it in. Blower automatically starts up. So uh, eventually there'll be a switch on there or a time relay circuit that I'm working on. I'll finish that up. Uh, anyway. So I'll go ahead and spool up the chopper. You'll hear it get really loud, and you probably won't be able to hear me, so I'll only talk whenever I cut it up or have it off. much quieter it gets um, so the blower is amplifying the sound which is great because it sounds realistic to the real thing and if I completely take it off it's almost silent compared to the blower itself so I'll go ahead and spool that down and so that's all for this update video uh, there'll be more in about two weeks probably uh, depending on 
the workload I get at college and all that. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later and see you in the next progress update. See you.